the hydro stairs, hydro tunnels, and just trying to poke a little bit there if they were able to do so. But like you said, great shots from that Prowler out across doing a whole ton of damage earlier as well. Smile will be backing away from this and whatever else that Smile weren't able to take away, Sentinels will own instead. Now they will have the safe zone inside a hydro there. So in this tunnel, they will manage to live. Uh, but what I think is uh, interesting is that Smile, they gave this up, they backed out and went all the way outward, figuring that they'll go ahead and try their luck at the better part of Hydro. There are some buildings that they might be able to take control of, but so many teams left alive here, Brav. You got 16 squads. Fight is taking place outside as Teen was uh, going to be getting into some action there, uh, and that was uh, Mr. Hakulo. I think it's going to be New Brainers. It's out, yeah. Yeah, oh, man. Is this, yeah, New Brainers. Very unfortunate situation for them as we get the update from the team tracker. And Wraith One Tricks maybe trying to bring themselves back here. There, it was a point in time where they were in first place, Brav, and they have 90 points in fifth place. It is not out for them. They, they can come back and try and win this. Yeah, we saw them move down from second to fifth uh, throughout the day today, and now in that fifth place spot. Uh, it's going to require some pretty good games, but it's not out of reach. They can still absolutely propel themselves into top three, maybe even better if they put together some great performances today. We have seen some really great stuff from them so far. So looking forward to seeing what they can do. And they're one of many teams that's still on the Swamp side uh, waiting on this next poll and uh, now also taking a look at Team Superior for the first time in a little while as they're a bit further north. Yeah, on top of this ridge with a few fences... Just in case anyone wants to get Gully and try and challenge him. Prodigy Ace is outside scouting about. I, there was a team in Capacitor, uh, I, if I'm correct, near like more for like Capacitor Overlook. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they've uh, made their way inside now, but that would be who uh, they would be receiving. NRG still holding here, uh, unsurprisingly, uh, but not only that, they also have uh, even more real estate because any teams that were around, whether they cleared them out off screen and take a look at this, they're actually pushing the team that's in that swamp choke that I was talking about. Take a look at this push from NRG. Yeah, they're going in for the fight. A few kills coming out now. Yo-Yo is going to be out of here and Ziploc bags. I think they were also dealing with unknown in that fight too. So Gobble's the only player left alive here and he's hiding behind this tree where the rats live. It's true, and he's just gonna try to stay alive there, but back on to TL for just a second as they have made a little bit of their move and now trying to determine exactly how they wanna move up to the exact area actually that you were seeing that fight. They're gonna to try to get onto this cliff side to get themselves out of swamps. They do have a few zip options ready to go and you see the pings going down. They're aware Ooh. that there's some action here. It's actually TPH that's in that fight. What? And somehow, some way, Panders went in there and I thought he was gonna nail the shots, but they go in for the engagement, utilizing the EMP. Now Hollow is just going to be trapped. So he gets on top. Will manage to get into another position here. But NRG, they are prepared for him. More shots exchanged now. Another team's going to come in for this fight. NRG was ready for it. They are not too beaten up from that last battle that they went in for. It's going to be Bubsby. Bubsby is out, as well as Joey Blackout. There's so many kills going out, and that is unfortunate there for Team Superior, who have, they're in fourth right now. So that, that battle between NRG and Superior couldn't have happened worse for Superior, because now that they're out, that just means NRG are just going to take more of the KP and the placement points, obviously, if they can manage to get to that point, but they'll take the KP for right now. Can't say enough about how NRG is playing. You saw them. They had that labs control. They weren't even TPing out. They were kind of just rotating out to watch that Swamp's choke. They're holding the high ground. They disengage when they needed to, and they wrap right back around as a squad of three, perfectly timed to pick up even more KP. It's really big because, as we said, they're in second right now, four points down from first, and it's a great game so far from NRG here now with 13 squads left as things pull here where you actually saw those original pings between Hydro and Swamp South. Players are so good at calling that on the team tracker, by the way, Wraith One Tricks as well as Max Dog are eliminated. Wraith One Tricks fifth place currently won't add on much to that one. Besides, I think maybe one or two kills that they got Rogue, your third place team in the safe zone. And if you're a Rogue fan, you are quite happy with where they are. NRG as well, though. They continue to get some more KP. And down there onto Matt Pickett. Uh, Phony Head is down, too. Frexus is up on the high ground. Only one player is going to be left alive. But Nathan, Nathan, excuse me. Well, Nathan, too. He has to back away from here and uh, find some coverage behind 
this pillar as more shots are coming in from the swamp and i believe that could be from liquid and look yeah. at that nathan with such damage charging that evo all the way up and perfect time in there to just get the jump with that 301 a really nice job shots still coming in though from that low hydro side so it does need to be careful nrg still going to be very happy and they have been playing very Ooh. aggressive he's going to fly right in nathan gets melted though has to bubble and it looks like only cells now if he's going to pop these cells in a row yes indeed he's got six so he'll be able to get that back in action just at the end of this bubble rocker might actually be the one that has to engage first gibraltar ult is down sentinels tucked away in a corner here still going to be inside of the safe zone they'll be playing around the gas that crust is laid out for them so they won't be affected by that thermite is going to force them out of the position though and actually hurt them a little bit hits rogue up above more by the way off screen gets it down there against prodigy aces but our focus is going to be set here to this battle between sentinels and rogue snipe down needing to back away drop gets it down on the senox peach working around this box here is going to get cracked on his own and cross the last man standing here only has a havoc and a prowler to work around with and uses the gas he has to pop that gas to try and force him out but no sentinels they're gonna go packing. Snipe down in that exchange actually ends up getting dropped by Yuris. So they're gonna be in this fight here, uh, HRN, not letting uh, Sentinels and Rogue have all the fun. Absolutely, and you saw HRN, like you said, getting involved there. We knew just how busy this area was. Two shots there for your reasons. He hits again, not missing with the Mastiff. Some great damage. We'll see oh, what no. more an RKN can do here to fight for HRN's side. Well, HRN had the bail. They got out. No point in them going after that fight. Yuris gets swept up in all of the madness. And now more and simply RKN will just need to hang out low. Look at MVP so, though. Yeah, MVP, they they got a lot of space to freely move around here and get back together as well as uh, some death boxes where they can get some more resources. But they will need to make their way over toward the swamp eventually. And all the teams that were in Hydro, they have made this move now Ooh. into this circle center. Casper does have to grapple out there. He's the last one alive. Let's see if he can stay alive here. Just trying to dip and dodge there, trying to get away with that beautiful Pathfinder heirloom, by the way, and just trying to stay alive here also is NRG. And now that's going to be a TP here for the side oh, of no. Rocker. And uh, we're going to see if Rex is, is going to have enough time to wait for. He's going to tell him exactly when he needs him to hit it. Hits it a little bit early as well. And now going to go through, oh. and we'll see if he's going to be able to live here. It's going to be Frex is now in this 1v1. The wing comes out, but no, that'll be NRG out. Oh, but they did get some placement points as well as some KP there. So I'm sure they're going to be very satisfied with that. Now, the game 13 winners, 303 Esports, are going to be inside of the safe zone. And they'll be playing on the low ground here around one another. Some action is going to be taking place up above them. But for right now, they can breathe a sigh of relief, given that no one will be engaging them at the moment. The team's left alive. TSM, Smile, Rogue. Only with one player, MVP, aim assist, and 303 Esports. A cleanup comes in. A kill is registered. Didn't quite see who it was there. I think it was a TSM. It's like TSM uh, yeah. actually out, yeah. Yeah, so TSM's out of here. If they had managed to stay alive, they might have been able to climb up more so. But they'll take the placement points. They're okay with that one. And now look at these teams. And 303, they're in a brilliant position here, Bravo, to win another game. MVP and Rogue are the two we are watching here just because of how much higher they are on the leaderboard compared to the Very rest true. of the lobby. This is kind of a go-ahead game for either of these teams if they're able to put the points on the board, but you can't deny the triple red Evo for 303. They have everything. Everything that you could possibly want. The only thing they need now is for uh, one of their teammates not to die early, which I, I don't think anyone's going to... Uh, you know, stumble down and land into uh, Smile or Sentinels in this instance. But hey, look who's over here as well. It's Smile. Smile's low. They're near the safe zone too. So they're going to encounter 303 first. This actually could work out now. Is, is Rogue still alive? Rogue's de uh, definitely still in. Definitely. I believe we, we still have. there's only one player left. One player. We'll find out exactly. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. It's going to be Sweet Dreams. Uh, and they're going to be but putting MVP's all of still alive their... is huge. Yeah, they're going to be putting all of their sweet dreams into the sweet basket to see if he can oh. pull off some points here because, once again, they are in third with 108. They're trailing first MVP by eight points already going into this game. And look at this little bit of cover. Now, here we go on the move. Every team needing to converge on the center. Yeah, and they're going to drop all of the ultimates. Also, be on the lookout. No, that one's down. Did he manage to pop the Caustic ult in time? Manus is taken out too. So 303 Esports, they might actually need to replicate the same success that they found in the last game, which is absolutely staggering look at these shots here from senpai the thermites are out they're just gonna try and roast them but the bubble does manage to drop right in the nick of time here three to three esports are gonna start to get tagged from this gas they'll just need to heal up and play around this tree the only really 
I guess, valuable hard cover that they could work with. And while all this is going on, Sweet is still ratting it out and staying alive. That is absurd. Smile's gonna be in this engagement. Mini is gonna go down. Amos is up onto the high ground here. It's nice to see Amos is involved now in another battle here toward the end of the game. They did identify one other player that will be down low. They go in for the shots and manage to get the crack. Resulta comes in hot for some more shots here, but oh man, it all goes wrong for Designful. 303 Esports still gonna be very healthy and very much in this battle. Design is down, Design is out of here. Oh no, the Q, surprised to see the Q there from Fury. It looks like he had a great massive shot, but Q's right away, maybe unaware that he'd be able to land that second shot as well. Still four squads left. By the way, we do have to mention, MVP did get tossed out in that initial scuffle. So Rogue is really our only team in the top four still in this. I believe that's going to now be, yes, indeed, Team Superior on the bottom is going to be finally the bleed out there. Where, take where just like that, three squads left. Where is Sweet when all this is going on? This is insane. Amos is... They're right on their tails here. It's Sweet. Sweet's in the corner. Oh, what a rat. What a rat. He gets a kill. He got a kill on Senpai. And Two Senpai's squads. like, where the hell did that guy come from? So if anyone drops down in front of him, I think he knows it's over. You could, he, he knows it's over. He's going to go ahead and just let them have this one rather than try to fight it out. He knows that this game is going to go, and he's going to give that win to aim assist rather than try to fight oh that 1v3. God. You saw him arcing his feet there, but... They're going to be happy with that, Rogue is, because he gets a few extra points. He gets a second place in the end, and uh, that is what they needed because MVP actually exited in fifth. So it's going to keep the top of our leaderboard interesting, Golden Boy. And uh, honestly, I couldn't ask for another uh, better set of games here in North America with only that two left for the Grand the Final. The ultimate rat. The ultimate rat play. Oh, yeah, let all the other guys, let them all fight each other. I'll just hang out here in the corner. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, boy. Well... Here are some of the highlights and uh, aim assist who uh, managed to pick up the win that game. It all started here in this engagement with Solafide and off the hip shot with the charge rifle. Gentrifying was certainly going to be on fire in that one. Sentinels 2 uh, showed us that even though it is rather late in this competition and they are further down in that leaderboard, they are not to be trifled with. NRG did manage to get some decent uh, KP out of that fight and they they took a lot of engagements there as well even though liquid and uh, <laughs> what i'm not gonna lie that that also startled me i it maybe it could just be my seniority i don't know but that just that caught me off guard there i'm here but, for, yeah, i'm here for what the game. memes man it's 4 a yeah, i know yeah. it's, it's it's what almost 5 a.m 5 30 or something like that in stockholm uh maybe 4 30 uh and uh my, God, my old I'm halloween here. costume i don't know how I'm they got that picture <laughs> I'm here for the memes, man. A uh, big shout out to our whole GLL production team. This uh, this match, uh, this whole grand finals has been.